What's up guys? It's Tuesday, the 1st of March 2022. And what do you know guys? Spring is here. The bee season is about to get turned up from now on. A lot of things is going to start to change very rapidly now in the environment. A lot of blooms is going to come out, increase in temperature and all of that. Now it's time for the bees to play because from now on the weather is going to be in favor of the bees, mostly sunny, so that nectar can get to come um, from those flowers and then the bees can play all day <laughs> harvesting nectar and taking it back to their hives. So one practice that I start doing guys is to play some bait hive in the apron. So these bait hives that I set in the apron is to lower in feral hives that might be swarming out in the woods and also any of my bees that decide to swarm when I'm not around they might take to one of those bait box that I left for them so I'm going to go up here now and show you how I do that as you can see right here guys these bees they're fanning really hard and the sun is beating on the hive right now and they are also um, evaporating uh, moisture from that nectar that they, they are bringing in so it's a time to fan reduce the moisture from that nectar and also to keep the hive at a decent temperature to rear their brood now over here I have just two simple nukes these nuke box I never had bees in them before so they 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 got no bee smell only the bottom board was on a nuke before so I got some planting leaf dry planting leaves that I'm going to use to reduce my entrance right here I'm going to just kind of squeeze it together and reduce my eye entrance preferably I want them to enter from the right side so or I can just do this simply lift the box so right there now I have about a two inch entrance for any scouts that want to go in there so no more than two inch guys because when it's springtime and the scouts are looking aloe cavity they are very picky because they got enough time they they're the scouts they're going to start working before the swarm actually cast so they're going to have time to choose their best aloe cavity so they will pick around guys so you want any aloe cavity that you provide to them to be at the top of its game to complete with any aloe tree that is out there in the woods so you want a defendable entrance only one you don't want any more than one entrance guys because the scouts will go inside this box here and they will check to see if they can enter and exit from anywhere else if they find somewhere else to exit this aloe cavity will maybe drop to the bottom of the list 
they want one entrance to defend any robbers or any intruders they will check the measurement guys of the hollow cavity so when you are setting your traps preferably to use a vertical hollow cavity 10 frame horizontal box they can work but I find over the years I figure that the bees they prefer to use a vertical um, hollow cavity so please to make your bait hives mimic a, a tree that is vertical if they have no other choice they might take a 10 frame horizontal box but this is the configuration I figure that they they prefer guys so as you can see this is my lure <laughs> it's not in its best condition you can see the bottle a lot of propolis and all of that because from swarm season ended last year it went to the bottom of my little storage so you can see that this is a lower bag from last year as well that q-tip is still in there I'm going to reuse it so when spring comes around everything find back its place so I shake up my lemon grass and over the years I've been catching swarm guys I only use lemon grass soil if you have beeswax or propolis you can rub those around in the box to help to get that bee smell in the box storage space guys so I had to free up some space so back to what I was saying if you got beeswax or propolis you can rub them around in the box just to give off that bee smell that the scouts are also looking for because they have couple smells that they're looking for any beeswax smell or um, properly smell any smell that help to make up a, a hive smell they're looking for that whole hive smell so if you have none of those and you're just starting out the lemongrass is what you can use that is what I use over the years and it worked really well for me the lemongrass soil it mimics the um, nasal of smell that they let off to say hey everyone cluster right here the lemongrass actually similar if not it actually smell the same so that's why it works so well to get the bees attention to come and check out a box or if you want them to start a march when you're um, doing a cutout and you want all the bees to start taking to the box you can use a lemongrass aisle as well and it get everyone to start marching towards the box so I'm going to pull up some of the lemongrass oil in my little syringe you can see this um, q-tip I used it a couple of times last year that's one why it's so dark so I beat the two ends make sure that lemon grass oil soak inside the q-tip cutting and then you place it in your little plastic bag reason being for the plastic bag guys this is very important it help the lemon grass to release its smell slowly if you use the q-tip alone the lemongrass smell will release too fast and it will end up dry out in space of a week 
and you will have to rebate and it also let the smell release too strong that might help to repel the bees because the lemongrass oil uh, as as well can repel the bees you can find that they come to move in the box and because the smell is too strong it overpower them and they cluster on the outside of the box so the the bait is down in the box now camera don't want to focus down in there as you can see it's at the bottom of the eye facing towards the entrance so I go around at the entrance now and put a little tab of lemongrass oil at the entrance so when the sun comes up and start penetrating that little oil there it's going to release its smell very rapidly and you know it's going to take to the air and then any scouts that is passing by will want to come and check this eye out right here so now I'm just going to put on the top cover now I have it right here this top cover is a top cover that I use a couple of times you can see some propolis is on the lid but not much yeah, that's all I do so I'm closing it up now and that lemongrass oil is going to do its work throughout the day meanwhile the sun eat this box and eat up the, and the inside of the box also uh, the lemongrass oil will start to you know, release its smell very slowly until I catch a swarm in this box So yeah guys, hopefully you understand all that I just explained and you will use it to the best of your ability to get some swarm this season. So until next time guys, peace out.